Everyone has heard of the porn star Stormy Daniels and her connection to the Donald Trump case. Now, Donald Trump allegedly paid hush money to Stormy Daniels and that's one of the big reasons why this indictment, the criminal indictment for the first time ever against a former US president has come into being, making it a historic criminal indictment. But there is another woman who has been named. Who is she? She is Karen McDougal. How does she fit into the case? Now, Karen McDougal is a former Playboy model. She was also the Playmate of the Year in the late 1990s. How did she and Donald Trump meet? She met Donald Trump, and this is her version, she met Donald Trump at the Playboy Mansion in 2006. She also said that she had a consensual sexual affair with Donald Trump for about 10 months. This is something that Donald Trump has completely denied, just as he has completely denied having any sexual liaison with Stormy Daniel. Now, in 2006, Karen McDougal met Donald Trump. Now, in 2016, Donald Trump contested the US presidential election. So, 10 years later, after she had met Donald Trump, she said she wanted to go public with her story. She approached the National Enquirer, an agreement was arrived at, and she accepted $150,000 from the National Enquirer, which is a tabloid uh, run by AMI, which is the corporate parent of National Enquirer. She accepted $150,000 to exclusively share her story with the National Enquirer. The National Enquirer at that time was run by a friend of Donald Trump, David Pecker. He paid her the money and he suppressed her story. He did not publish it. And because she had already accepted the money, she could not go public with her story anywhere else. So, Karen McDougall says that she was tricked into her story being suppressed. In the publishing world, when you take a story, you pay for it and don't publish it. It's called catch and kill. But that's an entirely different story. What happened after that? The US Federal Election Commission conducted an inquiry. And in that inquiry in 2021, they said that the money paid was actually an illegal campaign fund that was paid. And that's why they also fined the National Enquirer $187,000 US dollars. Now, why does Karen McDougall come to the picture? Karen McDougall wanted to go public with her story. She arrived at a deal with AMI. And Karen McDougall also in 2018 publicly apologized to Melania Trump, the wife of Donald Trump, saying that she was sorry and she wouldn't want it to happen to her. Michael Cohen was Trump's former lawyer. He has acknowledged that he paid the money to the National Enquirer. He has already testified before a grand jury. And that's how Karen McDougall fits into this story where Donald Trump is accused of paying hush money to another porn star, Stormy Daniels. Now, Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty to all 34 indictment charges against him and has also said that this is something which where he is the victim. And he's also said that he will contest this. Will this impact his race to run for the president? Currently, that does not seem to be the case.